totally forgot concentration is a bitch. Yo, what is up, Crocs and Cloud members, Poker fans? We're here to talk about episode 63 of Pokemon Horizons, and I apologize for my outburst at the beginning. But listen, okay? Trying to get things in order is a struggle, especially when you haven't done this for months, okay? I'm just, I'm just stating that right now for you all. Just leaving it there. But this episode, okay. I, what I thought was going to happen didn't exactly happen. So I'm glad that it didn't go the route that I thought they were going to go. But I understand the sentiment that the fandom, at least the Lico fans, had when this episode initially came out. I, I feel for them. And I'm a little on their side, okay? this I, I never thought because, well, when I was on Twitter, because I'm not on Twitter that much anymore. I'm now on Blue Sky, link in the description. You guys can go join. Follow me on there. <laughs> but I... When I, what I used to see from a lot of people is that they were just trashing the show and, and trashing Grusha and, and all this other stuff about what happened with Liko. And I wanted to know because, like I said, I haven't been able to watch the show in months because of my situation with the computer that I talked about in the last episode review. Okay, So because of that, I wasn't able to know exactly what happened. And now that I watched it, I get some of where they're coming from. I think that's what I saw was maybe a little over the top, okay? There, there was a lot of people that were just gassing Liko up, and I, I, I like Liko, don't get me wrong, but I understand what, I don't know if there's a correct way to say this, because I understand where they're coming from at, you know, the fact that they're upset that Liko failed, right? You know, because you never want to, this, this, she's 0-3 at this point, like, this is just sad. She lost to Katie, she lost to Rika, and now she loses to Grusha. Like, she has not had a victory in all of this. Like, this is unfair to her, because at least... Okay, if you if if we go back to, you know, all the other characters, okay? Dot lost to Iona, which was understandable, considering she's a fucking Electro-type junior leader, and, you know, Dot was using Quaxley back then. That wasn't going to happen. I still stand by the fact that I don't think that she should have officially won against Poppy, because... Iona's the one that actually was doing the work, but I'll give it up. And then at least has that victory for her, right? And then she loses to Larry, right? So she has two losses and a victory. And then you got my boy Roy over here, who beat Bracious, uh, and then he lost to, uh, I, for, I always forget how to say his name, a Dragon Elite Four, Gym Leader Elite Four, whatever the fuck. Like, I always forget, it was like Hamill or Hazel, so, something like that. I know I'm supposed to know because he's technically a teacher in the game for you, but I, I, it's not in my purview right now, okay? It's been a while since I've done anything with these people, right? So forgive me for not remembering this boy's name. But um, he did lose against them, and then he he wins against Ryan. So he's technically 2-1, right? But So you couldn't even give Liko a victory anywhere? Right? Like, I, I understand the frustrations for her fans, right? I understand they're upset at the fact that their girl can't catch a win, right? She has so many L's, it's ridiculous, right? But at the same time, I understand Grusha's sentiment. I still think he's wrong, okay? Because let me be clear here, okay? The reason why I say I sympathize with her fans and their, the fact that they were upset is that Grusha was getting his ass whooped, okay? As, like, Hatena, I knew for a fact she wasn't going to do shit, okay? Hatena sucks ass. I, 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 I can't say that because I love that line, okay? I love that Pokemon line. But Liko's Hatena hasn't battled for shit, okay? She has not done anything, so... I didn't expect her to be able to accomplish anything. It's the same thing that happened with Tinkatink and Dot. And it's the same thing that happened with Roy and Kilowattro. Their secondary Pokemon are fucking ass. Okay? I'm sorry that I'm getting riled up, but you guys need to know this. 
Okay, so I didn't expect anything from her secondary Pokemon. I for sure was like, this is gonna be before you got the show, and I was perfectly content with it, even though I really like Hatena and I like the Hatterene line and all those. Like, I, they're, they're, they're my, one of my, some of my favorite Pokemons from Generation 8. I get that, okay? You guys should know this, but I knew this was gonna be before you got the show, and I had no problems with it going in. But the fact, the fact that she was able to take down the Titan, right, the way she did, which is smart, right, considering he's a giant fucking ball of fat and muscle, right, so you can't attack him from the outside, right, so she, she was clever enough to use a different tactic and was expecting him to open his fucking giant ass mouth and attack with Magic Leap inside the mouth to take it out, Right, that's in, that's ingenuity, right? She did something smart, and I was like, "This, this is how you get this man." And he, he, he felt, right? He felt it, like, okay, maybe, maybe you're worth something, right? Like he said it, right? So I was expecting it to be like, okay, see, he, he's he's understanding, and then it happens in the game, right? You gotta beat his ass for him to acknowledge that, hey, maybe, maybe there's some strong people out there, right? Right, because he's he's a fucking asshole in the games as well. Like, he's got a fucking attitude, okay? So, I expected it going in, and especially after his cameo, back when they did the fucking, the other test uh, in the academy, right? I expected this boy to have some attitude. And then when Altaria came out, listen, all the, the shit that Liko was doing with Florigato, I was, I was impressed, okay? I, and it's one, it's one of those things where, like, it was a callback to something that happened early in the episode, but at the same time, I don't know why they had that as a flashback, because Florigato has done things similar to that in the past, so I don't know why they had to do that callback to something that happened earlier in the episode about, like, swinging its fucking thing around. But she used that callback to, to like, like grab a hold of Altaria and, like, smack it down from the sky. Like, she was, she was here. She was out there like strategizing and shit. And I was like, hey, good shit, Liko, good shit, okay? So I get all this stuff, right? I get all this, like, like this high with, with seeing Liko, and like she's going in, right? And then like, they, they do the fucking, the typical class that they do in fucking animes, where like, oh, like I'm gonna trash slice. And then like, which Liko did at the perfect time, by the way, like she nailed the timing for that shit. And then Grush is like, oh, well, you're gonna try slice? Well, I'm gonna show you that fucking, like, you know, being in the, the frosty mountains and all the snow and shit, snowstorms are unpredictable and they can turn things around whenever you really expect it. And then he terrestrializes. Like, his felt more like like a Hail Mary type of terrestrialization. So, like, he, if, if he was taking the test, I would have failed his ass, right? Because this didn't feel like an earned terrestrialization by, by going by their logic. Right? Going by the, the, the logic of the fucking test, his was a desperation move because at this point, Liko has the advantage. So in order to like keep up with her, he has to even the score by terrestrializing at the exact same time. And then like I said, they do the whole fucking anime thing where they shoot two fucking beams of light at each other. So, you know, Florigato with Magical Leave and Altaria with Ice Beam. And then, like, oh, he gets a fucking power boost. Even though Florigato at this point should be at least an overgrow, right? <laughs> and then, like, you know, Florigato gets fucking frozen to death, right? All that happens, and the whole time I'm thinking, I know that she fails because of, you know, the spoilers that I saw. But in the back of my head, I'm like, how the fuck... After everything she did, and considering the the way they've handled this test in the past, why she fails, and then it go it calls back to what happens earlier on in the episode when they're talking about fucking Grusha's backstory and uh, how he used to be this like ultra cool rad like snowboarder dude, right? And then like because he crashed and burned one time, um, and he's like, oh well. Even though I'm perfectly healthy and I'm able to do everything I used to do, I'm gonna beat myself up because I'm not gonna be as good as I used to be. And I'm like, this is the fucking pity party for this fucker. Okay, listen, Grusha, you're not meant to like Grusha. I, at least from my understanding, because he's just a dick, right? So until you beat his ass and then he starts to chill out, fine. But like, there's, they set him up to be a dick in the show, right? So you're not supposed to like him. But I think his, his mentality here fucking makes no sense. 
right? The whole point of the terrestrial course is to show that a trainer is able to acknowledge and learn and know the exact timings of when terrestrialization is to be done, right? The correct timing for when they're supposed to use it and, and, and terrestrialize their Pokemon to whatever they need to accomplish, which is exactly what Ryan was trying to teach Roy in the last, like, you know, implementation test, the, the first battle they had, right, where she whooped his ass, right? Like, he's like, your timing's off, right? You're not doing this right, like, there's no synchronization. Like, he's, she, she tore into Roy's ass, okay? And you mean to tell me the one character that, and like, like I said, Dot was like an iffy situation, like, at the, like she kind of earned it when she did, but Liko was running that battle at that point in the game. So, I'm sorry. She's the out of the three, right? Out of the three of them, and not counting Roy's second battle, because that one's like a completely different scenario, because the way they, they handle that, like, different than the other ones, right? That, that rematch doesn't count. I'm not counting the rematch here. But if you look at the three battles that we had... Liko actually deserves the pass. Out of the three. She she handled it and she timed it perfectly. She just took down her opponent, right? And and like had him pinned. Altaria had been pinned at that point. So the terrestrialization was like the perfect timing. I'm sorry, she should have passed. Okay, so I give it to the Liko fans. She should have passed this test. There is no even if she lost. I didn't mind that she lost. I, I, again, I think it's fucked up that out of the three kids, she has all these L's, okay? She's lost all three times. She hasn't had a single W, right? But if anybody f loses a battle and deserves to pass, it's definitely legal. Out of the three. Even though she's like, she's, she's not my favorite character, right? Like, even nowadays, I still put her at third. It's like, Roy, Dot, and Liko, right? That's the, that's my rankings. I still stand by the fact that she should have passed this test. I, I, Grusha is a fuck boy, okay? Fuck that man. I understand where he comes from because of his backstory, but if if the whole point of the terrestrial course is to teach the students the appropriate time to terrestrialize, she passed with flying colors, okay? I don't give a fuck if you think she should have won because that's not the point of the course. It's not the point of the implementation test. You fucking douchebag. I have ranted long enough, okay? The episode, I, like I said, I liked the episode. It was fun. I love the stuff with the Satato at the beginning, which I didn't talk too much about because the whole point of this review was to talk about specifically what happened in the gym battle, right? And like I said, I liked everything about it. I just do not understand. And and out of all of the characters, Liko's the one that deserved the pass the most. I still stand by that. And I, I'm with those Liko fans from back in. And, and the fact that she's done, right? The concept that if you fail, you're done, which they brought up, you know, when Ryan, you know, lost to, to, to Roy in the last episode. It's like, you don't, if you fail, you're done. Like, this is an ex a special exception that I'm giving you. So she's basically not going to be able to succeed unless they bring this up again in the future where she has to retake the course from the beginning. Like what I'm thinking is because of the fact that they didn't use uh, Kofu and Tulip for for our three main characters that they could somehow tie them back in somehow so that Liko gets like a redemption shit. But at some point there needs to be a rematch between Grusha and Liko because there's no way this man can get away with this. Okay? This like bro Bro, I'm sorry. I'm I'm. I keep rambling on. I keep ranting. Okay. I I feel for the Liko fans. Um, fuck Grusha. Okay. I'm with you on that. I get where he's coming from, but the, he he he. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm done. I if I if I keep going, I'm gonna keep going, and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna leave it off there. Leave your thoughts, comments in the comment section below. I'm really glad to be back making content for you all. So I hope you guys continue following me on this journey and that you're enjoying the videos coming back to your feeds from your boy, Source Croxon. So I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.